Brian here with HelpSellMyRV.com out of Louisville, Kentucky, where all RVs are for sale by owner. Today I'm going to do a walk around on this beautiful, fully loaded 2020 Jayco Eagle 357MD OK quad slide bunkhouse fifth wheel with the mid den floor plan. This is pretty much a fully loaded Jayco Eagle. It was an order out unit. Overall exterior length is 41 feet 11 inches, and the exterior height is going to be 13 feet and the unloaded vehicle weight or the UVW when it came off the assembly line or the dry weight whatever you want to call it usually they'll show it right here on this little yellow tag on the door 13,476 pounds is what it weighs empty this is a one owner camper the only reason why the current owners are selling it is they're just not using it anymore the kids are getting older and they're doing other things so uh, they called me up uh, I did go through this camper uh, pretty well and it passed with flying colors. Beautiful 2020 model. Uh, I always say it, uh, I put it up against any other 2020, 2021 all day long, even a new one. It's a little dirty on the outside, I'll show that on the outside, but I kind of put a rush on this because uh, we're getting into some cloudy days. So anyway, uh, plus we have the RV and boat show coming up. So, all right, let's go ahead and get started. This is a quad slide. Fully loaded Jayco Eagle first slide out is going to accommodate the freestanding table and chairs and you do have the collapsible chairs that usually are tucked away nice and snug up underneath the bed and the owners were nice enough to have those set up for me that was nice and also in the first slide out is going to be the entertainment center it does have the fireplace we did have a generator running but the generator uh, that the owners brought it kind of I guess out of fuel or something but anyway uh, I did have everything running uh, but we're only running off the truck power to uh, the seven-way pigtail so TV is gonna be a uh, Furion I believe it's gonna be about a 48 inch flat screen and it may be bigger than that uh, but anyway uh, all Furion entertainment you do have the Bluetooth uh, sound bar here and you do have the Furion Entertainment Center. It's got DVD, CD, Bluetooth, all the good stuff, smart device hookup, and you can also hook up gaming devices. There's a, a let's see, HDMI cord somewhere around here, but anyway, uh, you can hook up gaming, pretty simple. And this TV does pull out and pivot in different directions. You get the idea on that. In the rear here, this is gonna be the tri-fold sleeper sofa. You can definitely sleep two adults comfortably on this. And you do have the uh, USB charging ports on each side. Little green dot there. And you do have 110 outlets on each side of the bed. And uh, if you have somebody with a sleep at machine, you got that option. Definitely convenient. And I do love the way Jayco trimmed out all their windows. Uh, little details like this, a lot of people don't. Uh, look at but this is one thing I definitely noticed on their Jayco's now that definitely should have been done a long time ago more residential feature uh, you do have the of course the tinted windows which are 80% tint you do have the blackout shades well I've got good lighting right here kind of show off the window treatment it's gonna be the ultra looks like the vinyl finish pretty neat And you do have a ceiling fan. I am going to try to show off all the features on this coach, and which are a ton of features, <laughs> by the way. Uh, so anyway, this is going to be the second slide out. Accommodates the kitchen and the theater seating. Theater seating. Oh, I didn't turn it on. And it's got little LED lights, and yeah, we don't have 110 hooked up, so evidently it's uh, 110 and not 12 volt. Yeah. So anyway, that's heat massage, and there's LED light accent up underneath here. The color is going to be tans in color. And this is that, um, I think they call it like a stamp uh, blue jean, stamp jean fabric. It, to me, it looks like that, uh, it feels like that outdoor furniture stuff. Real durable, stain resistant, all the good stuff. And these are the little uh, remote light switches that you have all throughout the coach. And you can dim the lights. That's definitely a cool feature. And you also have uh, one switch in the bedroom that will activate all the lights inside and outside. And this is the Bluetooth uh, sound uh, speaker, uh, the Bluetooth speaker that you can actually put inside, outside, and it is 
uh, weather resistant, all the good stuff. Definitely a neat concept. You do have the solid surface countertops all throughout. Soft closing drawers. That is definitely neat for a camper. You do have the glass lid cover for more counter space. Uh, free burner gas cooktop, Furion gas cooktop. Front burner usually is a high output. Nice LED light accent. Oven, looks like the oven's really never been used. And I love the way they finished out the pots and pans drawer up underneath here to make it look more like a residential high-end oven and stove top. And let's see them. Yeah, it's a microwave. All stainless steel finish. And also in the slide out, it's going to be the, I think they're calling this a 13 cubic foot or 13.5 cubic foot. Dometic refrigerator and I believe it's gas and electric. Yeah, it is. It's gas and electric. I don't know what they're calling the cabinets. It's some kind of a wash, a whitewash or something. Uh, it's kind of got a, like a gray tint to it. Beautiful finish though. Kind of like a like a or some kind of a rubbing on the corners to kind of make it look kind of vintage. It's a beautiful finish though. Okay, you do have the island kitchen with the power tower and you do have a uh, you know, smart device charging right here and then 110. That's definitely a neat concept they should have done back in the uh, early 2000s. Yeah, those are soft closing too. And you do have water filtration. There should be like a water jug here. There's a jug there and you just fill that up. Go to the like Costco's or Sam's, fill it up and there you go. And you got the chef's faucet. Nice undermounted sink. And again, solid surface countertops. Yeah, there you go. 110 outlet right here. And you do have, of course, the power tower there. So you can plug in all sorts of appliances. Beautiful lighting, by the way. Jayco did a great job on their uh, lighting. And uh, of course, you do have LED recessed lights all throughout and outside there are LED lights. And you do have the quietest AC, the Whisper Quiet AC system on their Jayco's. And this is the quietest system. Uh, you're not going to have a huge return that is just noisy and loud. You got to turn up your TV. No more. You don't have that. You've got the returns and the vents scattered all throughout and of course ducted all the way through uh, you have combined 30,000 BTUs of AC and you have a 30, 35,000 BTU uh, furnace on this coach it is four seasons fully enclosed uh, underbelly and I'll show you all that stuff before I show you the mid den kind of show off some of the appliances or the uh, storage here tons of storage on this floor plan by the way Yeah, got to show off the pantry. And this ops is a closet too. There's little magnets. They kind of put that up. That is definitely a neat concept. I always say it, they should have done it a long time ago. Utilize more magnets. And that turns into a closet. There's your mid den floor plan here. Or the mother-in-law room or the bunk bedroom. And you do have, of course, the bunk here. And that collapses away nice and easy. Nice clean look when you want to use this as a den and that is a trifold sofa too and you also have a little bit of room when the bed is out it comes out to about here but you can still if you're sleeping on the back side you can actually walk out and kind of not have really any problem getting out in case you need to use the facilities in the middle of the night and you can use this as a gaming area and you do have another green light which tells you you got smart device charging right there and all sorts of storage in your traffic area here high traffic area is going to be obviously the uh, uh, residential vinyl flooring and it's that wood plank floor look very classy 110 outlet right there nice night lights there
and you do have individual lights here for the bunks there you go and this is going to be your third slide out by the way and I do love the way Jayco did their doors for the mid den kind of collapses in like that pretty cool speed the video up okay I'm going to show off the central command here and uh, when I come back down it's basically ties into your smart device uh, you can do all sorts of stuff it's like the on command or the Vegas system that they offer on some of the higher end units kind of similar uh, you do have the loft up here and of course the teddy bear mattress and there is a teddy bear mattress I forgot to point out in the mid den you could definitely sleep uh, two adults comfortably on this and you do have yeah you do have uh, 110 outlets on each side up in the ceiling tucked away and it is rated at 600 pounds I think that's what it says I don't have my glasses on I think that says 600 Beautiful full bath, by the way. Beautiful uh, walk-in clo walk closet, glass enclosed, and uh, beautiful uh, residential style. You can sit down. Jayco did a great job on their uh, shower here, and you do have the skylight there, and you do have nice backlit mirror. That's definitely nice behind the uh, medicine cabinet. And this is going to be the foil wrap. Definitely a lot better than the Formica tops or the laminate. Uh, and they're water resistant and all that stuff. But nice clean look. And you do have the porcelain toilet, foot flush porcelain toilet. And you do have the, it's almost like the fantastic vent fan, but uh, the 12 volt fan. Uh, gets all the stuffy smells out and stuff like that. Walking into the master bedroom, you do have the, this is going to be the fourth slide out. It's going to be a queen bed slide. And the bed does lift up. Uh, you've got storage up underneath there. Usually you can tuck away the fold-up chairs that I pointed out in the living room up underneath here. And uh, the light switches right here, that's the remote light switches for all the lights inside and outside. And you can dim them. And of course you got another switch right there for all the inside lights. Your TV, eh, I don't know, it might be a, I'm not even going to guess what size it is. I'm guessing 25 inch maybe. Uh, charging station here, 12 volt hookup. Yeah, I think all the soft closing doors are only in the, the kitchen area. Eh, let's try this one. Yeah, yeah, soft closing drawers are only in the kitchen. This is going to be where you would, uh, your plumb for your uh, washer and dryer combo unit, a splendid would, uh, combo unit would do perfect right there, but you just take out the drawers, put one in. Uh, I, I personally wouldn't do it, and I'm glad the owners didn't do it. It just takes up more storage space, to be honest. Oh, I forgot the uh, motion detector lights all over this thing, so this thing just automatically kicked on. That's definitely a neat concept that they should have done also a long time ago. I did check this coach for water damage. I uh, did not find any issues. Uh, wear and tear. Did not find any issues. It's just a little dirty on the outside. Insides are clean. Oh, you do have a beautiful one of those heavy duty pocket doors here for privacy. From the bathroom into the hallway. That is definitely nice. Okay, the remote system on this, you can con uh, control all your lights, slide outs, awnings, all the good stuff. And you can tie this into your smart device, your phone, and you can actually uh, operate features when you're away. Uh, that's, that's a pretty neat uh, system, and they offer it on a lot of the high-end stuff. So that's definitely a neat feature. All right. I think I got everything inside. Let's go ahead and go outside. I always forget this. This does have the keyless entry, and you do have the all the 
baggage doors, compartment door locks are all, uh, they're key alike. So the key that opens up this door actually opens up all your baggage doors. And you do have the step above system on this coach. These stickers can easily come off. It does have the, the colored finish on this, which won't leave uh, residue or anything when you take this off. But, uh, and the coach has been kept under storage, so it's not being hit by UV rays or anything like that. The step above system is the best uh, stair system you're going to get, and they should have done this a long time ago, but uh, that closes up and stows away nice and clean when you're in transport. Nice, huge grab handle. Jayco did a great job on the grab handle. And you do have the climate shield package on this, which is fully enclosed heated underbelly, rated at zero degrees. Uh, all your gate valves, everything is all enclosed and protected. Nice little light switch here. A little service light for at night. Kind of light up your camping area when you're getting ready to go inside. Enclosed heated underbelly. And you do have the six point auto level jack system. There's one, two, three, four jacks right there. The jack pads and they're all down. Owner's got them leveled up. This is the kitchen area. Neat concept. Not sure if anybody else is really doing this. Uh, they did the kitchen. Uh, well, a wet bar kind of set up here and beautiful disco lights kind of thing going on. And you got different colored lights. You can turn, you can do all sorts of stuff. Yeah, see, turn it blue. That's definitely neat. Pretty cool. And you can put that Bluetooth speaker out here, which I was telling you about, and I believe it also is weather resistant and all that. 110 outlet. All right. And again, all these stickers easily peel right off. You do have the outside speakers. And that's tied into your Furion system inside. Again, stickers easily come off slam latch baggage doors gotta love them and they are strut assist there's your fully enclosed uh i'm sorry your heated compartment area and i don't know i got i got thrown off for a second because again motion detector lights anytime you see this little ball right there motion detector lights all over this coach and this is the same diamond plating that they put on their toy haulers that rubber flooring gas resistant oil resistant aluminum frame duct work all throughout the coach and there's your uh, it's actually looks like they're using radiant heat from the duct work to heat the storage compartment area here slam latch baggage doors gotta love them uh, the LP tanks are off, but I believe he said they're 30 pound. They may be 40, but I think if I remember right, you got two 30 pound tanks, one on each side. The owners have those at home. Decals are in excellent condition. Uh, the camper is a little dirty. I put a rush on it. Owners said they weren't going to be able to get to it till next week and they had to take it to a truck stop to wash it off. And I said, don't worry about it. Let's go ahead and get the video going because we have the RV and boat show coming up January 25th through the 29th in Louisville so I got to get this listed because I have a booth there awnings gonna be you got dual awnings one's gonna be a 10 foot 6 awning and uh, power awning and the other one's gonna be man that's got to be all up 20 foot long maybe even a 22 footer I have to double check and I'll put it in the description uh, we don't have the awning all the way out because this pole got us so anyway that comes out a good another probably four feet One ten, nice plugs, outlets on the outside, and you do have uh, frameless windows. Again, eighty percent tinted windows. Beautiful front cap, and it is dirty. I apologize to anybody looking at this. The owner, uh, he said he would like to have it clean, but I said, don't worry, we can we can get around it. But it cleans up like a new penny. Beautiful accent lighting on the eyebrows here, or whatever you want to call them. And uh, anyway, little switches right next to the beautiful pin box. Uh, more ride pin box for a smoother ride kind of keeps that chucking down and that knocking but uh, here's the little switches for the lights that I just showed you let's turn those off okay <clears throat> beautiful front molded and uh, but I believe that's painted front cap that might be just bled through with the fiberglass just like the sidewalls and you do have the awning package which the owners opted for the slide out awning packages and again, it's fully loaded. And that's where your other holding tank, uh, LP tank would go. 
another slam latch baggage door and this is going to be your water hookups area here and let's turn on this light outside shower starting from the top work my way down outside shower and then you had the water heater bypass and then you have the directions for your winterizing for the green and blue switches there for winterizing you do have a look at water pump switch inside here and you also have one uh, inside and uh, you also you tie it in on your phone I believe so on the, on that device that I showed you inside have to double check on that see if you can turn on your water pump gate valves dump valves whatever you want to call them they're all enclosed heated protected from the elements and city water hookup and uh, sanitizer I think that's for the uh, black tank they're just calling it a sanitizer oh winterizer okay uh, yeah oh and here you go look at this that's a big deal uh, you can do a solar charge right here and you can hook up a solar panel whatever and hook it up right here and you also have another hookup on the roof and there's an area in the front I almost forgot to point that out in your front garage area here you can actually put six batteries here and uh, and then you can set it up with solar and all that if you want that option you can do that right here six batteries the owner is one battery right here so and there's where you would want to put a generator if you wanted a generator there and that's the generator the owners are using right now little Honda micro quiet those are nice I think they're the best uh, quietest generators in the industry still I don't know Yamaha may have beat them Again, I did check for delamination, look for any scratches, anything, any shrinking in the decals, did not find any issues. See, look at that. We're in a busy area here. I can't really get it pulled out because too many trucks and traffic. Anyway, we'd be in people's way, so. There's where you would dump, hook up, and this is gonna be your uh, Cree 3000 or CRE 3000 more ride suspension system on this. It kind of rides like an independent suspension. Uh, and you do have the huge Dexter axles, uh, eight lug wheels, 16 inch tires. And I believe they're E-rated, they're all good years. They're not Toyos or anything like that. Uh, tires are in excellent condition. Nitro filled, and you got the little green cap. All right, you get it. These things are fully loaded. Gosh, it's amazing. Oh, and it does have the Sinecon system on this. It's basically, well, without getting nasty and disgusting in the description, uh, it just makes uh, dumping your, your wastewater uh, easier and really less messy in case there's any issues. But if you don't like the Sinecon system, you're not used to it, the old fashioned way, you can still do it on this. And the owner does have the hoses, I believe he told me. Nice ladder to get up on your full walk-on roof, that Magnum roof trust roof system that Jayco offers on all their uh, Jaycos. They're, it's the strongest roof in the industry in fifth wheels. Two inch hitch receiver on the back here. Nice, put a rack on here, maybe, well, maybe bicycles, something like that. And again, you can take off the stickers. And uh, your LEDs, if I remember right, your LEDs, when you turn your turn signal on, uh, that light and the top light and your marker lights on the side, I believe they blink. So it's not just your brake light blinks, it's all the lights on the right side blink when you've got the right turn signal and all the ones on the left side blink when you're turning on the left signal. So you get the idea. All right, outside kitchen, uh, outside grill, and then you have a little bottle opener that's nice stow that away and it's a little dorm style fridge electric fridge and a tv all right and this is going to be your almost a little bit bigger yeah ten and a half foot uh power awning over the kitchen area grilling area whatever you want to call it all right I know I didn't get everything. I know I didn't. There's too much stuff on this. It's a beautiful camper. One through ten. Ten being the best. I'd give it a ten. And I think any dealer would agree. Uh, anyway, if you want to come and see the camper, just call the number on the ad or you can call 502-645-3124. If you like this video, I'd appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up. And if you have a comment, leave it below. 
And if you want to keep up to date on RVs coming for sale by owner in the Louisville, Kentucky area, you can always follow HelpSellMyRV.com on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube.